All right, it's time to destroy this polynomial using synthetic division. We're going to divide a polynomial using synthetic division. Now, this is just another form of polynomial division. Now, the reason why we like to use synthetic division, it's a little quicker. But you can only use synthetic division when you're dividing by a linear factor. So if that said x squared or x cubed or x to the fourth, you cannot use synthetic division. You're going to have to use polynomial long division. So we have to set it up. To set it up, what we're going to do is you take whatever the quote unquote zero is. So you say x minus 3 equals 0. You add 3 to both sides. You get x equals 3. That 3 is what goes in that box there. Then you take the coefficients 1, 2, negative 13, negative 6, and you line them up that way. Now, just like with polynomial long division, if there's a space, if there's a gap, you have to put a placeholder. And then we draw a line. We're going to follow this pattern. You add straight down. 0 plus 1 is 1. Then you multiply this value within the box. So 1 times 3 goes into the next box add straight down 5 multiply 5 times 3 15 add straight down multiply 2 times 3 is 6 add straight down now you're like okay I got a bunch of numbers here well, what do I do with it well this actually represents the coefficients of my new polynomial this is my constant this is my remainder this is my constant this is my x and this is my x squared. We're basically counting backwards. Remainder, constant, x, x squared, x cubed, and so on and so forth. So then I can write out my polynomial as 1x squared plus 5x plus 2, and I don't have my remainder. And so that's going to be my value after I did my division. So the first thing I did is I set up the problem. Remember, we take Whatever this value is, you set it equal to 0 and solve, that goes in the box. Then you take the coefficients, you write them out here in descending order. Then you follow the pattern, you add straight down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Then, once you've done that, all you need to do is write the polynomial working backwards. You always start with the remainder, so remainder, constant, x, x squared. Let's look at another example. So we're going to set up the problem. So if I set that equal to 0, you get 1. You put 1 in the box. Now the coefficients, 3, negative 2, and 1. So you follow the pattern. Add straight down. Multiply. Add straight down. Multiply with that value within the, what's in the box. Add. So now that we've done it all, counting backwards, remainder, constant, x. So I'm going to get 3x plus 1 plus my remainder, so 2 over x minus 1. Divided that polynomial. It was destroyed. Next one, set it equal to 0. So I get 3, 4. I don't have an x squared. Placeholder. 2 and then negative 3. I know some of us probably forgot to do that placeholder. We gotta write that placeholder. So add straight down, multiply, add straight down, multiply, add straight down, multiply. Let's see, that is 120 minus 6. Add straight down. Now counting backwards, remainder, constant x, x squared. So writing it out, I got 4x squared plus 12x plus 38 plus 11 over 4x, sorry, x minus 3. Destroyed. All right, I want to get you guys to give this one a shot. Destroy this polynomial by dividing it using synthetic division. Okay, setting it up. Right, so you have to set that equal to 0. Descending order, 4, negative 5, 3. Add straight down, 
multiply, add straight down, multiply, add straight down. Now, what do we do? Count backwards. So you're going to get 4x minus 17 plus 54 over x plus 3. Boom! Destroyed. Why don't you guys try this one? Setting it up. I'm just going to set this one up for you guys so you can take a look. But there's placeholders. I don't have an x squared. Placeholder. Right? Because that's x cubed. That's x squared. That's x. I don't have an x. And then there's my constant. So add straight down. Multiply. Add. Multiply. Add. Multiply. Bam. What? What? Destroyed. And we're done. So, what did we learn today? How to destroy polynomials using the synthetic division. And so, if you remind you, polynomial long division, that's where we set it up like this. So if I had x squared minus 1 divided by x plus 2, we'd put the x plus 2 here, the x squared, placeholders, so plus 0x and then minus 1. And we'd go through and divide. This does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.